Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall. Today we're going to learn about telling time to the hour. Throughout today's lesson, you will be asked to talk out loud to yourself. As a mathematician, it is important to practice your communicator skills. A good communicator speaks so others can understand them. Be sure to practice this skill throughout our learning today. Take a moment and look around your home. What kind of clocks do you see and what is their purpose? We'll give you a minute to look around. Maybe you saw a clock on your stove or a microwave. This clock helps you know what time it is when we're cooking. So we know what time we've put something on the stove, in the oven, or in the microwave. Maybe you saw an alarm clock. Alarm clocks are very important because they let us know what time it is in the morning and help so we're not late for school. Maybe you saw a clock on your cable box which helps so you don't miss a TV show you wanted to watch. Maybe you saw a clock on your computer that helps you keep track of time when you are hard at work. Clocks are all around us and are very important in helping us in our everyday lives. It's important to learn all about clocks and how to tell time. Take a moment and look at these two clocks. What do you think is the same and what is different? These clocks are the same because they both help people tell the time. They are different because they are saying different times. The round clock is 8 o'clock and the rectangular prism is 618. They both have backgrounds. Maybe you saw that one clock has arms on it pointing at the numbers and the other clock doesn't have arms. I'm sure you came up with some other really great ideas too. These clocks are also different because one clock is called an analog clock and one clock is called a digital clock. Let's learn about these two types of clocks. This type of clock is called an analog clock. Where might you see an analog clock? Perhaps you've seen one on a watch or hanging up in your classroom at school. What numbers do you see on this clock? I see the numbers 1 through 12 on this clock, with 12 being all the way at the top. What do you think the numbers are counting? The numbers help us count hours and minutes. Do you know which hand on the clock is the hour hand and the minute hand? The short hand is the hour hand because it helps us count the hours and the long hand is the minute hand because it helps us count the minutes. When the minute hand or the long hand is pointing at the 12, it is the start of another hour. We say this is an o'clock time. Then we look at the hour hand or the small hand to know 
what hour it is. We can see the hour hand is pointing at four. Time is showing on the clock. Say it out loud with me. It is four o'clock. Look at these analog clocks. Which clock shows a time on the hour? How do you know? The first clock and the middle clock show time on the hour because the minute hand or that long hand is pointing to the 12. What time do these clocks show? We can see that the hour hand is on the eight with the first clock and the 10 on the middle clock. Say the time out loud for these two clocks and you can say the sentence stems to help if you need. It is eight o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. How do you know that the third clock is not on the hour? This clock is not on the hour because the minute hand is pointing at the three. For this clock to show on the hour, the minute hand would need to be pointing at the 12. This type of clock is called a digital clock. How is this clock different from an analog clock? This clock is different because it doesn't have all the numbers shown at the same time and it doesn't have hands. The two dots between the number is called a colon. What does the number on the left side of the colon show? The numbers on the left side of the colon tell us what hour the time is in. What do the numbers on the right side of the colon show? The numbers on the right side of the colon show us the minutes. When the minutes are showing zero, zero, this is the start of the hour. It is an o'clock time. What time is showing on the clock? Say it out loud with me. It is five o'clock. Let's play a game to practice our learning today. Let's play memory match. You might see a card that shows an analog clock, or maybe you'll see a card that shows an o'clock time written words and numbers, or maybe you will see a card that shows a digital clock. You will practice your memory skills and see if you can remember where the cards are and try to make a match between an analog clock, digital clock, or written form. For it to be a match, they must show the same time, just like these three all show eight o'clock. Take a moment and get a quick look at the cards. Now let's cover the cards up and try to find some matches. Hmm, let's turn over two cards and see if they are a match. When we flip a card over, ask yourself, what time is shown on the clock? Practice saying the time out loud to yourself that is shown on the clock. This clock shows six o'clock. This clock shows three o'clock. They are not a match. Let's flip them back over and see if we can find another match. Let's turn over a new card. What time does this clock show? I see the minute hand is on the 12, so it is an o'clock time. The hour hand is on the 6, so this clock shows 6 o'clock. Hmm, didn't one of our previous cards show 6 o'clock? Can you remember which one it is? I think I remember. Yes, 
That's right. This card said six o'clock. We've made a match. Let's try to make some other matches. Which one should I turn over next? Let's see what's behind this card. This card says 11 o'clock. What time is shown on this card? The minute hand is on the 12, which means it is an o'clock time and the hour hand is pointing to the three. This clock shows three o'clock. Do these two cards match? No, they do not match, but I think I do remember where the other three o'clock card is. Let's see if we can find the three o'clock match. Do you remember where the other three o'clock card is? That's right. This digital clock shows three o'clock also. We made another match. I see two cards left. I wonder if they are a match. Let's check. What time does this clock show? I see the hour hand is on the 11 and the minute hand is on the 12. This clock shows 11 o'clock. Time is on the digital clock. The numbers to the left of the colon is the hour and it says 11. The numbers on the right of the colon are 00, zero which means it is an o'clock time. This clock shows 11 o'clock. It's a match. Great job. We found all the matches. In today's lesson, we went over ways to tell time on the hour with analog clocks and digital clocks. Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and a communicator. Did you speak so others can understand you? Now let's reflect on our learning today. Share your thoughts out loud or to someone nearby. What is something you learned? What is something you still wonder about? Thank you for joining me for today's first grade episode of Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall and I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting. Hope to see you soon.